If you have to travel every morning to your work or study place on your motorbike and you miss music on the way because you're wearing a helmet, this video will solve your problem. Because in this video, I will show you how you can integrate a Bluetooth headset in your helmet using which you can not only listen to music but can also receive calls hands free. It is convenient as well and very safe as the volume is not too much. So without any further ado, let's get into it. This is the star of this project, a Bluetooth audio receiver. The speciality of this receiver is, it has its own battery inside the receiver itself. Previously, I have tried this project using this Bluetooth receiver, which later I had to drop because of the requirements of extra parts which were not possible to integrate in the helmet due to space requirements. Let's go ahead and get a pair of speakers. I use this 0.5W speakers which will connect directly to the receiver and it works flawlessly. To stick everything to the helmet, I will use a velcro tape so that it is possible to remove the parts later on without any hassle. I remove the paddings from my helmet where I will be fixing the speakers. Originally I had planned on sewing the velcro tape to the helmet but that didn't work. So I had to drop it and I will use a double sided tape instead. Or if you want you can also use a hot glue. After measuring, I cut 4 wires from a ribbon cable for the speakers. I applied some solder to the speakers and then after thinning the wires, I soldered it to them. Now I cut 2 double sided tape for speakers after measuring and then stick it to the back of it. Then I cut same size velcro tapes and while I was at it, I also cut 2 double sided tape yet again. I stick the velcro tape to the double sided tape and then remove the covering from tape on the speaker and stick it to the other side of the velcro tape. On the padding, I finalize the location of the speakers and stick the velcro tape with double sided tape on its place. After that, I put the speakers at their places. I also pass the wires of the speakers through the hole from the padding so that they remain hidden in the helmet. Now I put the paddings at their respective places after this step. Now we need a wire with 3.5mm pin at one end. These two are easy to use but the 3.5mm pins are a little bigger which I do not want. So I use this one from an earlier phone. Using this is a little bit trickier. I cut it from one end leaving enough wire to recover from the errors if any of it happens. Then I stripped the insulation and found 4 wires inside insulated from each other by a kind of fabric. The thickest one is the ground and the other three are for left, right and mic. We will only require ground, left and right. Determine those wires from this figure and a multimeter. To remove the insulation, I burn the fabric with a matchstick which will remove it leaving the metal wire. Do not burn it too far as we don't want the wires to get short. The ground wire might look like it's not insulated but it is, so burn it as well. After burning, clean the wires as burnt fabric might still be there. Cut the mic wire which we will not use. Now that the wires are exposed, we will solder wires from the speaker to it. Use shrinking tubes for insulation. It will need a little patience as the wires are too thin. Thinning the wires before soldering might help a bit. Also, don't apply much heat to the thin wires otherwise they will melt. After soldering, check if both the speakers are working by connecting it to the receiver. When you're sure, move on to the next step. I hot glued the junction to one side of the helmet which will prevent the solder joints from breaking due to any tension. After deciding the spot for Bluetooth receiver, I cut a piece of velcro tape of length matching the length of the receiver. I stick that piece with hot glue at the decided spot. Then I cut the other half of the velcro tape and stick it to the module using hot glue. I kept this piece a little longer in length than its counterpart so that it will be easy to remove it whenever I wanted to. So I stick the module at its place and we are done. Now you can listen to music while driving and can also receive calls without actually touching your phone. If you run out of battery, you can easily charge it with a phone charger. And if you need to, you can also remove the module easily, for example when it is raining. But please keep in mind that safety comes first. 
Do not use speakers that can affect the ability of you listening to any honks or other sound that actually keep you safe while driving. Do not listen to music at high volumes while driving. It's for your own safety. Also, make sure to read the manual before using the receiver. If you like this video, please share and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any idea to make it even better. Right now, I am enjoying it much more than I actually thought I would. It's really a pleasure. So thank you guys for watching, till next time.